Fest is a celebration of the iconic Australian hairstyle. People can come together and compare their mullets and laugh and have a great time whilst raising money for a good cause. like the term bogan. I think that when you come along to Mullet Fest and you meet our people and you hear our story and you realise that we are more than capable of laughing at ourselves and each other and that we're doing it for the right reasons. Curry was facing what we would call an economic crisis. We had an aluminium smelter that had shut down and it was a generational job provider. And so we were really feeling the pinch. What we wanted to do was create a tourism injection. When we were talking about it and we were brainstorming about, you know, we might have a mullet competition, both my husband and my father-in-law said at the same time, well, mine's the best. And so we knew right from the get-go that even if nobody else showed up, we had a competition just between them. That was how the idea was born and then... Here we are today with a global phenomenon and 242 entries. Mullets vary. Every mullet is unique. In the first year, I guess um, the term would be die-hard mullet lovers because in the first year you didn't have enough notice to grow it. We're finding now that our extremes are, are quite extreme. You know, we're getting huge lengths, we're getting mohawks, we're getting shaves, we're getting designs, we're getting colour. There are literally all walks of life that will all be sporting mullets and loving it. A mullet is a haircut. It's business in the front and party in the back. You're an easy hairstyle. Like you don't have the, your hair in your face when you're driving, you're working, you know. It, it's, it's business. It's easy to maintain. Our newspaper from yesterday Breaking news on page five. <laughs> Taking style to the extreme. Here I am in the Maitland Mercury from my win from last year. And it just says, when last year's Mullet Fest Extreme Mullet winner Lynn Fry was asked to return as a judge this year, she turned it down. That's because she simply couldn't miss out on a chance to compete in the Chelmsford Hotel event again. So that's what I'm doing. So I was very proud of that, but I could only get one copy of the paper. So I've got to try and source another one. So I've got one to give to each of my children <laughs> to just rub it in that my mullets reign supreme. <laughs> and my kids, oh, for years, oh, you got a mullet, Mum? Yeah, I love my mullet and I'm not cutting it. Out of my four children, I think two are happy and proud for me. The other two are embarrassed. <laughs> Basically, it takes me back to my teenage years, you know, the 70s and 80s. In my brain, I think I'm 21. My body tells me I'm 90, but I'm 59. <laughs> so last year when I won, I was just so excited. Oh, it was wonderful. I couldn't believe it. It was just really nice to be recognised by your peers, but I'd, I'd just be happy to compete and just have a bit of fun. As I said, enjoy the day, enjoy the company, uh, enjoy the people and just have a good time. I've been a carer most of my life. I like to try and make other people happy and Mullet Fest makes me happy. So it's the one day of the year that, you know, I have a smile on my face. Yeah, the first personalised number plates I got for my birthday um, from my fiance three years ago. She got them for about $500. I think they'll cost $500. So far, I've been offered up to $1,500 for them. Um, probably not going to sell them. I think I'll pass them on to my, uh, my son. 
Well, originally it was a deterrent for women. So I found my soulmate. I was like, yeah, right, I'll grow something that's going to, you know, drive them in the other direction. She liked it. She was she was already studying to be a hairdresser. So, what well, you know, what wrong? She can tame the mullet, turn it into a mullet. What's a mullet? Uh, it's the fancy version of a mullet. It's just got a bit more class. Maybe because the mullet's boomed completely since maybe the last three years since Mullet Fest actually started. And so, yes, it's since then, everyone, everyone loves it. You know, I can go to the city um, on a Saturday night and get up to 50 photos with just complete random people. Um, just walk up and want a photo with the mullet. So, it's, yes, it's good. I don't mind it. Well, NATO's got the short back. Uh, he's got the business at the front, so it's slicked back. It's ready, ready for anything. It's aerodynamic. The short flaps, the wings around the side add like a lines main to scare off predators. Um, makes you look bigger. Uh, that's a lot of lot of um, smaller mullets give that appearance, you know. So it's, it's definitely a nice mullet. Last year, I was on the podium for Ranger mullet. That got taken by a, a lady with a, a very extremely nice mullet. The year before that, um, I took home the best Ranger mullet, second in the overall competition. So that that was a good good boost, I suppose, and it's what made me come back all these years, I suppose. Yeah. So everyone coming together for a, a day of just piss up and laugh, like, and it's, it's great, you know. There's, there's, there's no altercations, there's, there's donations going around, there's multiple charities being helped out. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's just it's awesome community. No, you point at the camera. No, no. You... You're not ready for this, are you? I'm up against some stiff competition, but I'll give it a go. We're having a lot of fun today, so let's uh, be on the back five minutes, so let's do it. Just that weekend that I become me again. The carefree, fun-loving, happy-go-lucky person from my childhood. Rangers, come to the green room. Have a look under there. There's a beautiful bit of quality undercut. Growing a mullet gives you a bit of resilience, I suppose, to what people say. You're going to cop a lot of um, hate and abuse for it. It's made me a lot more confident, for sure. So what I'm going to ask, we need 
someone to run through the main part where the big band is playing at the moment. They may be in there drunk and not listening. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, of the mighty Ranger Mullet is Cougar Knight. Cougar Knight, where are you, mate? Cougar! Good job, mate. But ladies and gentlemen, this young fellow is a uh, fine example of where the future of the mullet is going in Australia. Next up, we have our vintage mullet. The judges had a very hard time with this one, but it is my pleasure to announce with a drum roll, the winner of vintage is Paul G. all the winners missed out on finish but apparently it was a close call so who knows it might have been me second but look I'm happy and he, he had a lovely mullet and it was really long I'm absolutely thrilled for all the winners and especially Cougar absolutely brilliant kid so it's been a wonderful day I've met so many people and I've enjoyed it I'm never cutting my mullet and it's nice to be recognised for having a mullet and I'll continue to do it as long as I can. <laughs>